Now to our weekly eco feature, Sam the koala became an international symbol of the horror endured by our native wildlife during the recent Victorian bushfires. Eco reporter Pam Ellis has discovered that closer to home, our local koalas are fighting their own battle for survival. There's nothing as true blue as a little Aussie battler. Our iconic koalas are in real trouble. Recent studies have shown an alarming decline in local koala numbers. Together with habitat loss, of course, there's, um, there's the impact of new threats like roads and dogs um, and disease that goes along with that as well because there are stress impacts on the population too. Almost 100 koalas need to be relocated from bushland near the Coomera town centre. The EPA's own research over the last several years has indicated a significant decline in the koala population in southeast Queensland. Council is buying land and working with property owners on acreage to save koala habitat. But everyone can help. Restraining domestic pets, particularly at night, and slowing down on our roads will help preserve this national treasure. Go onto the Gold Coast City Council website and we've got information about the programs that we're running on the website. Um, they can also um, volunteer to be a part of the koala project. There are more tips in Tuesday's Gold Coast Bulletin but in the meantime, if you find a koala either healthy or injured or would simply like more information, please call the council koala hotline. Pam Ellis for EcoRap, 9 Gold Coast News.